folks uh today is thursday december the 22nd uh thought i would do a just a quick uh, video update i guess uh on some things um like i said not not too much going on right now other than feeding cows and uh, uh just piddling with this and that uh i uh, i've got plenty to do <laughs> uh as far as fence work and other things go um and um I need to work on my uh, feed trough situation uh, a little bit as well. Uh, I may do that on Christmas Eve day, depending on the weather. Uh, they say it's a good chance of rain that day, so we'll see. But uh, many of you have asked if, uh, how my grass I've sowed is doing because uh, I was rather worried about it. Uh, been in the ground so long and not come up um i just went this morning and uh, looked at a few of the fields i hadn't seen in uh, a week or so i guess and uh, the grass is coming up uh slowly but surely uh some of it that came up a while back is, is looking really good uh, but some of it's still just popping out of the ground. Uh, so, uh, when you look at the fields, you've got various shades of green going on right now. But, uh, some green nonetheless. Uh, so that's good. Uh, the rye, uh, I put in the pastures is coming up as well. Uh, so, uh, I can see the rows predefined on that. So, uh, that is also good. Uh, and uh, haven't been over to look at the hay field that I actually put in rye, but I would assume it is doing likewise. Uh, I am a little worried about that field. Uh, those two fields, they're both kind of on the side of the hill. I did, you know, plow them up. Uh, I'm worried about how those fields uh, washed uh, when we got that uh, one pretty uh, significant rain event first significant rain event we had for a long time. Uh, some of the other fields washed a little bit, so, uh, which is a shame, because uh, I went in there, got them perfectly smoothed out, ruts gone, everything, went in there and put the hay in, and uh, or sowed the seed, and now I'm going to have some washes and ruts, but anyway, um, so, that's going on um had some talks yesterday with uh roger at georgia deer farms uh many of you know that's where my massey ferguson 5610 came from uh i still have the 5610 uh again today's december 22nd uh i would very much like to be out of that tractor uh, or, uh, it gone, I mean, it's, uh, uh you know, it, it's accruing interest every day it sits there, and I ain't doing nothing with it, um, right now, so, uh, I know, I mean, I've been contacted by no telling how many of you over the past couple of years about, um, the Massey Ferguson 5600 series, some even the 5700 series, and my thoughts and whatnot. So I know there's people out there looking at them. But uh, anyway, uh, got about a week left before the end of the year. And uh, I, I'm telling you, if any of you out there are interested in that tractor, uh, you might want to contact me pretty quick. Because uh, I am uh, I'm talking to Roger, and uh, there's a few other pieces of equipment that I am in need of, and uh, or have been considering getting. And uh, so we talked. I did talk with one Agco representative about it as well, and uh, uh, pretty.
pretty much if, uh, if somebody doesn't pop up and buy the Massey here in, in the next week, uh, I may seriously take them up on an offer uh, on a couple of three things. Um, and uh, just let it go right there. So, um, yeah. Um, Basically, we we discussed the Massey and what I had offered it to Deer as a, as a trade-in, and uh, uh, me and Deer were just a little off on that, so I told him I'd keep it, but uh, I think Roger's willing to uh, give me that or maybe more for it, so we'll, we'll see, um, but uh, Anyway, I really hate to do that. I don't don't really want to trade it in towards uh, something, but uh, I'd like to see uh, the individual get it and uh, me too, who the next owner is going to be. But that's that. Um, uh, that could be its fate. Uh, I know in one of the earlier videos I mentioned um, that I thought I had it sold, and I really did. Um, I really don't know what happened there. Uh, I talked to this one guy multiple, multiple times about it. Uh, and the price, the deal, hauling it, shipping it, etc. And uh, the guy just uh, fell off the radar. So I don't know uh, what happened there. But. Uh, Anyway, I don't know. We'll see. I may, I may still uh, hang on to it for a while and, uh, and try to sell it. But uh, uh, Rogers, uh, Rogers got me interested in a couple of things he's got that uh, I, I could use, and uh, oh, I may, uh, I may let it go at that. But uh, we'll see. I'm still, still mulling that around. Um, but that's just an update on that, and I just want to throw that out there because, uh, you know, if, if one of you out there is uh, is interested in this thing, I'm ready to deal. So, uh, <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind at all having it going before the end of the year, but uh, it, don't, it don't really matter either way. Uh, I know Roger is, uh, would like, I think he would like to deal before the end of the year. So, uh, we'll see. But, uh, anyway, um, yeah, um, that's about all that's going on. It's, this was an update, you know. And, uh, uh, several of you asked about the feed trailer, the new little uh, portable feed bin. Um, uh, wanting me to update y'all a little bit later on about how it's doing and uh, like I said it, I got that one load of feed in it and I'm still feeding out of it and will be for probably a few more weeks so uh, I will update y'all on how it's uh, doing uh, at a later date and uh, I've got a few comments on it already so uh, that I want to make uh, the Donahue grain trailer, uh, a lot of interest has been peaked in it, or has a peak of interest in it here just recently. Uh, several of you have seen it in one of those last videos, and uh, uh, I've got some of you made comments, some of you contacted me other ways about it. Uh, I do have somebody looking at it this afternoon. Uh, got a feeling it's not going to be around too much longer, but we shall see. Uh, it may be gone as of today, but, uh, um, anyway, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's that. That will probably be my last update before Christmas. Uh, I don't know, uh, there might be some videos between Christmas and New Year's. We shall see. Uh, uh, something develops between the Massey and Roger and uh, the 
these other things I'm looking at, I'll, I'll update you on those as we go. Uh, but the uh, main thing was I was glad to see my grass is coming up. It gives me a little hope for next year's hay season and, uh, and the plans I had there. Uh, so uh, I don't feel so down in the dumps about that. But uh, uh, it's just nice to know that you can see your future money growing. I'll put it that way. <laughs> it's always good to see something growing. But, uh, it's interesting. There was some wheat planted around, not me, but some other farms. And, uh, it, it's, it's almost the same status as my grass. It, 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 some of it came up earlier and some of it's just now coming up and, and, uh, and whatnot. So, uh, that's a kind of situation on it. Uh, 6110 AM still doing fine. Uh, no complaints there uh, that I can think of. So uh, uh, that's an update on it. Uh, oh, and I did get the um, fuel filters changed on the ramp. Um, I did that last weekend. I didn't do any video of that. Uh, there was already a video out there of me doing that. I did do. Uh, I did do it a little bit different uh, on the rear, the filter under the bed, than I did in my how-to video. Uh, I left the water sensor on the bottom of the fuel filter uh, instead of taking it out before I removed the fuel filter. I removed it with the fuel filter, so I left the drain open and left my hose on it. And uh, because when you loosen that fuel filter, uh, it allows some air to go in. It's kind of like putting your thumb over a straw while it's still on the truck. So when you finally loosen it, some more fuel will run out. So by doing that, that allowed um, that fuel to drain out the tube and down into my little uh, 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 little uh, catch pan I had for catching the fuel I drained out and uh, it didn't go everywhere out that open big open hole in the bottom of that fuel filter had you took that whole water sensor plug out so I just took it off after uh, I removed the filter from the truck uh, but anyway the ramp has got uh, a little over 38,000 miles on it now and uh, again other than the exhaust leak uh, and that being fixed and it being back again, I still have not yet been back into the dealership for that. That's the only issues I've had with this truck. So, uh, anyway. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all I can think of at the moment. So, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get this downloaded and updated. And thanks for watching. See ya.